Hey, what's up guys? Eric Fasquez here with TeachMeToDesign.com and today is day 12 in our 30 Tips in 30 Days video series and I'm going to show you guys how to do something pretty cool. I want to introduce you to what's called Displacement Maps in Photoshop and what that's going to do is allow you to apply text or logos or anything like that in a realistic way to fabric. Alright guys, so as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at displacement maps and how we can add some realistic text to any material, especially something with folds. Um, in this example here, you'll see that I've got this uh, textured image of silk open, just to demonstrate to you guys how this technique works. Um, but you can use you know, pretty much any other image or, or stock photo that you'd like. To start things off, I'm going to um, make a copy of the background layer, just by pressing Command-J on the keyboard, and then I'm going to desaturate it um, the shortcut command for that is command option U on the keyboard and then just desaturate it. Um, another option for that is to just come up to image adjustments, hue saturation, or black and white. Now the idea here is that we want to boost the contrast in this image. So one other thing I'm going to apply is a levels command, which is command L on the keyboard. Um, but you can also find that under the image adjustments menu as well. All I'm doing here is moving the the sliders in towards the center to you know create more contrast in the texture here and pretty much anything that's that's black is going to recede and anything that's white is going to pop out so once you've done that go ahead and save this file and we're just going to call it displacement map psd and then you can go ahead and scrap that file scrap that layer sorry yeah don't get rid of the whole file <laughs> from here I'm going to just add some some type you can use any uh, font that you want, but for best for the best results, I'd recommend using a white uh, for a color. All right, and I'm just going to make it two lines of copy, and let's see displacement effect. There we go. I can spell. <clears throat> and then from there, I'm just going to enlarge this line of copy, just doing a free transform, uh, which you can do by pressing Command plus T on the keyboard and then hold down the shift key and drag from any of the four corners to make sure that your type doesn't get all warped. All right, and I'm just gonna fix the spacing in between some of the letters here. This is uh, called the kerning, uh, it's the space between the letters, and you can adjust that in Photoshop actually by moving your cursor between any two letters and then holding down the Alt Option key and using the left and right arrows. So that can either add or take space away from, you know, the, uh, the space in between individual characters or letters. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is either convert this to a smart object or the other thing that you can do is rasterize the type. However, once you do that, you will no longer be able to, to modify the type with your type tool. But that's okay. Alright, from here, uh, the next thing we're going to do is merge this type together. If you didn't already click rasterize, then you won't have to worry about that. And then we're going to come up here to Filter, Distort, Displace. And you can leave the settings pretty much as is, um, just to see how it works. And then I'm going to come back, and it's going to ask you to point to your displacement map, which we already created. So go ahead and navigate to that, and then press Open. Now you'll see here um, with these results, it just kind of looks like warped type, and you can kind of tell that it's following the shape, but it's not totally convincing yet. Um, there is another step here, so select your original background layer and make a copy of it by pressing Command-J on the keyboard and then move it to the top of the layer stack. Once you've done that, double click on that background copy and bring up your layer style dialog box. And now in here, on the, uh, the main blending options, you want to go down to where it says blend if red, since red is the color we're using, and hold down the option key to separate these two little sliders and then move this slider to the left until your type starts to come back in and now you'll see the displacement map really taking effect you can see all the the shadows and highlights in there and it gives us a really cool effect it almost looks like a like a flag uh, kind of and as I zoom out you kinda see how that works and this is a really cool um, you know effect for adding logos to apparel designs or t-shirts or anything like that um, and it works well with adding face paint to portraits or hands or, or anything like that. 
um, and it's just kind of a cool looking effect. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and please be sure to sign up for our newsletter and let us know how we can help you design better. Thanks guys.